here is a bar. And let me fill it up. There we go. That's a nice looking bar. Here is the, we put a fulcrum or a spring balance. Let's put a spring balance. Huh? That's fun. We put a spring balance here. And they look fairly professional. That's our guy. That's center point. We'll call this point the center point C. And what we do is we hang, let's change color, we hang a line and a weight here and here. And I move that over just a tad. So let's move it just a tad. There we go. I like that. All right. So we've got, uh, let's call this uh, weight one. Weight one. And this will be weight two. Of course, this then here will be distance one. D1, and this will be distance 2. This is distance 1. Make that a tad clear. And distance 2. Now the turning moment of the force will be W1. That will, let's start on the left hand side. W2 times D2. That's called the turning moment, and that has to equal the turning moment of the other side of the center point, the pivot point C, which will be W1 times D1, weight 1 times distance 1. Hmm. All right. So what do they do with this formula? Well, they set up a proportion. And what does that proportion look like? Well, in order to get that, let's do a little bit of math. Let's divide both sides by D2. Now, when I do that, this guy cancels out. So, let's move up a bit. Now, I'm left with W2 equals W1 times D1 over D2, which I can rewrite as times 1 over D2. That's the same thing as dividing by D2. So I'm multiplying by 1 over D2. That's the same same. Now I want to divide both sides again, but this time by W1. This is all multiplication, so I don't have to worry at all. Uh, cancels out here, and W1 over here. Now what do I have? Now I have W2 over W1 equals D1 times 1 over D2. Well, that's the same as saying D1 over 1 times 1 over D2. Over D2. So I multiply the numerators and the denominators, and I get D1 times 1 is D1. 1 times D2 is D2. Now let's bring down the left-hand side, and we've got W2 over W1 equals D1 over D2. And that's the, uh, the proportion that's always referred to when you're doing these kinds of formulas, these kinds of uh, examples. And let's get that picture here again. Let's uh, grab a picture of it. There we go go and bring that down here oh <laughs> that, that was a mistake let's do that one more time and here we go a little bit better here we go so uh, 
be careful. Ah, oh, there we go. That's not too easy. Oh, okay, very good. So we have W2 over W1 is equal to D1 over D2. Sort of follows this counterclockwise direction. W2 over W1 equals D1 over D2. And we started out once again with this by just simply stating the turning moments around the the fulcrum, which is W2 times D2 equals W1 times D1. And that's it. That's pretty much all I have to say for now. This is George Bull saying bye-bye.